Yes, so. So in the last class, I have told you about the electric field. And uh, electric field is equal to force divided by test charge. A charge plus Q displaced on origin. Plot. Electric field E versus distance X, or you can say uh, this is X graph. So here is electric field in this axis and and here is x and a positive charge is placed here at origin can say plus q charge is placed at origin And we know that uh, due to a uh, plus charge, if I want to calculate the electric field at a distance x from this, so the electric field is equal to kq divided by x square. kq divided by x square. x is some distance from this point charge. Okay. So from here you can see that here k is constant, q charge will remain constant, but as we are moving in this direction, the distance will increase. Means the distance is variable. So this can be written like this. Electric field is inversely proportional to one by x square. And if you are going in this direction, means if you are increasing this x, if you are increasing this x, the electric field will decrease. The electric field will de decrease. So I am here, I want to find the electric field here. So the direction of electric field is in this direction. This is positive x and this direction is the negative x. This is positive electric field axis and this is negative electric field axis. Negative. So here you are, the distance is in increasing and here, here the electric field is positive and distance is also positive. Here. In the, this is the first quadrant here. This distance is positive. This distance is positive and electric field is also positive because this is the positive direction of electric field. So the graph is of this will be like this. Now put our charge here and find the direction of electric field. 
So direction of electric field will be in this direction. And this is the negative direction in this direction. If I am taking electric field in this direction positive, then electric field in this direction I am taking here as negative. So here the electric field is negative. In this quadrant, electric field will be negative. And distance, if you are moving in this direction now. So the graph will be like this. You can remember only the graph if you have not understood what I have done. So due to a charge uh, at the origin, the graph of electric field versus distance is like this. Here in the question, I am adding one thing. First is for x greater than 0. Second is for x less than 0. Means x greater than 0 because in this direction. x less than 0, this is 0. And in this direction, we will move. Then x is negative. So if I want to draw a graph of electric field versus distance, if a negative charge is placed, if a negative charge is placed at the origin. So draw graph of A versus X when A minus Q charge placed at origin when no one x is greater than zero on the second when x. So, this is the, again, electric field on y-axis, and this is x, this is x, okay, this is x on x-axis. So, if I want to draw a graph of electric field, as we know, electric field is inversely proportional to 1 by x squared. Electric field is inversely proportional to x1 by x square, and the graph of this is known as hyperbolic graph, hyperbolic type graph, like this. Graph of will be like this. This is the hyperbola, the hyperbolic graph. So, in this direction, if I am taking this direction of electric field as positive, then I have to take the direction of electric field in this direction as negative and this is positive x and this is again we know the, we know that negative x this is x this is negative means from here to here here a minus q charge is placed here a minus q charge is placed at origin x is greater than zero is this region x is less than zero, zero is this region so when you are drawing the graph for x greater than 0 means x you are going in this direction you are going in this direction and you have to check the value of electric field this is electric field and electric field axis electric field negative 
you are moving upward then electric field is positive and when you are going below origin then the electric field is negative so here i want to find if i am placing a charge here and i want to find the direction of electric field due to this charge this is negative charge means the direction of electric field will be like this means electric field is in this direction here this direction is negative direction means electric field is negative electric field is negative electric field is negative so the graph will be like this this kind of graph you will get and if you are now for x greater than 0 means x x this is x less than 0 for x less than 0 is this region so put a positive charge for finding unit positive charge for finding the value for finding the direction of electric field. no direction of electric field will be in this direction and see here this direction is the positive electric direction of electric field here the electric field is positive and when you are, we are moving in this direction the electric field is positive the so graph will be like this as you are moving in this direction the electric field is decreasing here you can also say that when you are moving from this to this direction the electric field is decreasing when you are moving from this to this direction the electric field is decreasing so please note it down if you have the confusion in sign and all that you can learn the graph like for the pos positive charge placed at, at origin the graph will be like this for x greater than 0 this is x greater than
हेलो भूमि हेलो 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 यस सर व्हाट हैपेंड um so the device in which uh, the meeting was before that's my laptop um okay. the wifi is not coming there so i get disconnected again and again so i switch the device um i'm using mobile now so fine uh, have you got this I, now yes sir so i have done uh, nothing it is just a game of sign you have to take the sign okay like in this direction i have taken the electric field positive okay or if you if you are not getting the signs and all that then you can learn the graph graph that's not a problem so please note it down uh, i did sir uh, completed the first question first first question yes sir second question yes sir completed okay so i am moving now now we have advance again superposition principle earlier we have studied the superposition principle for the uh, for the electric force now we will study the uh, superposition principle for the electric field so i have early, earlier also i have told you superposition principle is just simply the vector addition simply the vector addition so for the superposition principle i am writing the heading superposition principle for electric field earlier we have studied the superposition principle for the electric force now we will study the superposition principle for electric field and electric field also is a vector like force is also a vector electric field is also a vector quantity type force like force and suppose here is a charge one q1 charge is placed here and i have placed a q2 charge here q3 charge here okay and i have placed a charge q4 here and i have placed a number of charges means n number of charges are placed like this n number of charges are placed like this and here is a point here is a point and at this point i want to find the total electric field due to all charges i want to find this charge will have his own electric field its own electric field this charge will have its own electric field here this charge will have its own electric field here this charge will have its own electric field here and accordingly all the charges will have their own electric field at this point and we have to simply add the electric field at this point so we know that these are or are uh, all charges are positive here q1 q2 q3 q4 qn these charges are positive here and we know that how to calculate the direction of electric field this is positive charge consider here a positive charge so you will see the direction of electric field will be in this direction direction of and i am just showing like right. so direction of electric field will be like this you can say and if this distance between this charge q1 and this point is suppose the uh, you can say r1 this distance is r1 r1 is the distance between this charge q1 and this point where we want to find the electric field and direction of electric field is away from this point so accordingly due to the charge q2 accordingly due to the charge q2 the direction of electric field will be away from the charge and the distance between this charge q2 and this point is r2 is r2 and for the charge q3 for the charge q3 
for the charge q3 the distance between charge q point charge q3 and this point is r3 and the direction i am taking the direction along the line joining the line line joining this charge and this point i have already told you how to find the direction of electric field i have already told you i have said earlier that for this point charge if i want to calculate the direction first i will join this charge like this and here i will consider a positive charge and positive positive will repel so i can say the direction of electric field is, is away from the positive charge so here also you can say that the direction of electric field due to this positive charge will be away from electric away from the positive charge so uh, this is e1 and this is e2 this is e3 even is electric field at this point o due to q1 what is what is e2 bhumi what is e2 what is e2 here e2 please tell me what is e2 the force on o due to the uh, that charge q2 what what are you saying force due to charge q2 i am not talking about the force we are studying the electric field we are not studying the force yeah i mean the electric field sorry i said force by mistake are you in the class or somewhere else no sir i said it by mistake you yeah your mistake but this is not the mistake what i am i am talking about the electric field and you are being the electric force okay no problem please focus so basically have you understood na yes sir that is okay for i want that you should be yes. so what we uh, we have just calculated the total electric field at this point o due to all these charges you can draw for q4 qn earlier we have done this for the force so i can say net electric field at point net electric field at point o is equal to e1 vector summation of electric field e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus accordingly you can add the electric fields here yeah. so this is the superposition principle and i am writing the statement also these are very simple things when you when you try to understand for a for a system of n interacting point charges we have written this definition earlier also for but for the electric field this time i have i am writing this for the electric for a system of an interacting point charges net electric field net electric field at a point is vector sum of electric field due to individual individual charge 
to a door. Individual. Child. So, for a system of endpoint charges, the net electric field at point O is the vector summation of in the electric field to two individuals. So, please note it down. So done. So here, uh, uh, here, I if I want to write the value of E one, E one is equal. If I want to calculate E one, E one is due to due to this charge, then this will become K Q one divided by R one square. And what is the value of E two? Q one divided by R two square. Q one. K. Two Q two divided by R two square. Yeah. Take the charge and divide it by the square of this. So completed this one also. Yes, sir. What is this? This is square. A rectangle. Okay, looks like a rectangle. We will draw a square. Now, now it's looking up. Yes, sir. So they are saying that here a charge C e is placed at this point. At this corner, A this is the corner A of the square. Here is charge E is placed, and this is plus E charge and at the corner B, this is the corner B and a charge of plus 2E is placed, plus 2E is placed and here a charge of minus 2E is placed and this is position D. And here a charge of minus E is placed, and this is position A, B, C, D. Position C. And at the center of the square, this is the center of the square, we have to find the net electric field. So at the center of Point net electric field. Point net electric field. For that, 
we should know the distances we should know the distances due to the charge at a this is the distance due to the charge at a the distance between uh, distance between point this point and charge at a is this distance and accordingly i am going to distance b we have to find the electric field at this point due to discharge due to this this so this is the distance here yeah. from here this is the distance the stand between this point and this charge is this suppose this is point o this is point o and distance is oa will be equal to distance ov will be equal to distance oc will be equal to distance od will be equal to distance od and how we will calculate this distance actually this is this is square of side a this is square of side a this side is a all sides of square are equal then this side is a and this side is also a so we can find this vd see here this is b this is c this is b this is c this is d and this distance is a this distance is a this is right triangle so if i will use the pythagoras theorem then this distance will become a root 2 this distance will become a root 2 and we have to find ob and ob is half of bd Okay. So what I am saying, I am saying that. This is simple right angle triangle, and we can find it with the uh, Pythagoras. Do you know the Pythagoras theorem? We have Pythagoras theorem. Yes, sir. So we can find it. And BD, this is BD, na? This is BD, and I want to find OB. So OB is half of BD. OB is half of BD means half of this. A root two divided by half. So this will become what is this? This will become a by root two simply. So all the distances O A O B O C O D will be a by root two. This is very easy question. Now, 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 now we have calculated the distance. Why we have calculated distance? Because because we need the distance for calculating the electric field is equal to k q by r distance square. Okay, r square r. I am taking r as distance square. I have calculated the distance already. Now this distance is a by root two. This distance is a by root two. This this all. Now calculate the direction. Calculate the direction at this point. Do at this point. the direction of electric field due to this charge so due to this is positive charge so due to at this point the direction of electric field will be in this direction will be in this direction yes sir in this direction so so direction of electric field will be in this direction
so uh, due to so i am saying this is e a e a is in this direction and due to this charge the direction of electric field will be in this direction this is e b and due to this charge the direction of electric field please can you tell me the direction of electric field due to this charge at this point ed direction of ed Yeah. <clears throat> 